Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Drawing with Rick, or Creative Sundays in this case. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can draw Chibi Droid! Woo! Okay, that's uh, not that exciting. So yeah. Um, before we get into it, now I know a few of you may be thinking, Rick, I don't know how to draw. I'm shit at drawing. Why are you teaching me how to do something I can't fucking do? Well, if you can write your name on paper, or even write anything on paper, you can draw. And I'm going to now use that skill to help you draw chibis. But before we do that, I'm going to jump into a few little theory works. Just sort of like notes and stuff you want to keep in your mind when you're doing chibi drawings. Chibis! Chibis are these things! That's what- this is what chibis are, okay? Chibis are these things. Um, they're Japanese cartoons with giant bobbly heads and small little bodies. Like, that's the size of their body, that's the size of their head. Their head is like the same size, if not bigger, than their bodies. So that's what chibi drawings are. If you never knew what chibi drawings are, congratulations. You now know what chibi drawings are. So, here are a few things you want to keep in mind. You want to imagine chibis as bubbles. Like, you know, those little bubbles that you blow through those little toy plastic hoop thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you want to picture them like that. Not only are they glossy and reflect specular lighting, which are these white specks over here, but they are also very soft and have very rounded off edges, just like on the cheek and the chin. Not only that, but the eyes are freaking massive. The noses are puny. And the heads, as I said before, are huge. But again, you want to sort of imagine them as like bubbles. And you want to have very soft rounded off edges. So here with these shapes here, I have a square but instead of me using harsh edges, I've actually rounded them off like that. Like, nice soft edges so they can't stab anyone, even if they tried. Might be able to crush someone, but not stab someone. So let's go in the opposite way. And now we have harsher edges. Really, really harsh edges. We have harsh edges here, and we have harsh edges there, and fucking everywhere. Now, I'm not saying don't draw harsh edges. Now, harsh edges are just like that. That's a harsh edge. That's a soft edge. So, you know, yeah. Soft, harsh, soft, harsh, done. Good. Okay, moving on. Here I have a drawing of a character that I completely designed myself and didn't copy at all from any anime that's ever out there. <coughs> <coughs> but, yeah. Uh, so as you can see, I've have, I have a lot of harsh edges. I don't know why I circled that area, that's just a line. Um, especially with the hair, but I also have harsh edges on the eyes, the eyebrows, and especially the cheek and the chin. Those are harsh edges. That's not what chippies are. Now you can still draw chippies like that. Maybe if you have like the heads kind of like in this sort of shape here, something like that, okay. But uh, yeah, you can still have harsh edges, just a little bit more trickier. And yeah, you want to have a nice bubbly effect, so let's bubble her up, shall we? Oh, look at that. There we go, much more friendly. You know, we've gotten rid of those harsh lines for her hair. Her eyes are no longer harsher, and look at that. Her cheek and her chin have been rounded off nicely to give her this nice bubble look. So that's what you want to sort of imagine your characters or chibis to be like. Very bubbly, rounded off, soft edges everywhere. So let's jump into the, the tutorial right now. Okay, so before we actually get into it, I just want to quickly point out what I'm going to be doing. If you're going to be following me on pencil and paper and stuff like that, this is the color code I'll be using. So if I use the gray colors, press use a pencil, just press down lightly. If I use the orange color, press down slightly harder. If I use this color here, press down with a pen. So very lightly with your pencil, draw a circle. Just like that. Okay, nice little circle. You can draw it anywhere on your page. I'm just drawing it nice and big so then you can see it. And this is our head. So now we want to draw the eye line. Now the eye line is where the eyes will sit. So say, if we draw an eye line that goes across like that, then our eyes will sit like that. Now this is, I'm going to have the character looking directly at the camera, okay? So let's just have the eye line here going straight through the middle. However, this is a chibi. So I'm going to drop this down past halfway. So this is the halfway point here. I'm going to draw the eye line down here. Okay. And I'll get into that a little bit shortly, but you'll see why in a moment. So now I'm going to draw the line that goes straight down the face. Now this is kind of like the center point of the, 
the face. So if I had the face, the line going this way, the eyes would sit right in the center and the nose would sit there. If I had the line going this way, the eyes would sit here and the nose would sit over here. And of course, this way, eyes sit there, nose over here. So this line pretty much determines which way the face is facing, uh, left or right, and the um, eye line is the one that controls up or down motion for the head. Is pressing slightly harder with your pen, Sol, <laughs> is you want to draw a line just roughly somewhere out here. Now, it doesn't really matter, but this it's kind of like where their forehead is, and you're going to draw a line down to where roughly their chin would be, which would be out here somewhere. Okay, now we want to connect this point here with this point here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a chin. And I'll actually, just for tutorial reasons, I'll draw it exactly onto that point. So like that. Okay. And I'm just going to erase this out. And we want to do the same thing for the other side. So draw our chin outwards up like this. So you're kind of drawing like the letter U. But all you're really doing is you're just getting the edges and you're just going like that. Just like really crushing it in. Sort of. Sort of. So again, not really using straight lines. We're really curving these lines out. And we'll draw a line that goes straight up and above like that. Alright. And just refine it a little bit. So we have something which looks a little bit like that. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and sort of draw our hair. Now I'm drawing Marissa from Toho. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Marissa is is um, a picture of her will come up on screen now. You want to get like the fringe and stuff and we want to sort of just sort of draw out around here. So you can be as creative or wacky or crazy as you like. So I'm going to draw her fringe and all I'm really doing is getting like the letter V but bending these lines so that instead of going like this, I'm simply going like this. And I'm fattening them out as well. Okay, so you know you can do a couple of test strokes if you like to try and get it. But that's all I'm really doing for the hair. And I'm just going to sort of draw the start of the fringe out here. And just sort of do something like this, really. And you want to be a little bit creative. Now, obviously, the more you do this, the more it just becomes second nature. And you just, you just do it. But we have our basic fringe, which is friggin' massive. But whatever, well, that'll do for now. So say you want to do like a plait or something, if that's what they're actually called. Um, so what you want to do, for plaits they're a little bit different, they're kind of like... I guess they're like um, getting the letter M, but you're just sort of like going eh, like, um, let's see, like across, across, across. So think of that shape there, but you're sort of going in like, a, like an arrow kind of shape, like this. And that's all you're really doing. So we're going to do that over, but on this side of her, so she has a, like a plait here. So we're just going to sort of just go out and overlap, overlap. We're going to go again, again, and again. And now I'm going to draw a bow, which is going to sit right here. Now, you can draw bows any way you like. You can draw it like with a little middle part in there, and then just draw like this. Okay. Uh, you can just make that point smaller and just go like this if you want. Or you can go for like a butterfly kind of uh, look, so it's kind of like this. You know, just think of butterflies when it comes to drawing bows. I guess. Okay. So be as rough as possible. Like, the best thing I can suggest is don't do this. Don't be like... Uh, you know, do it roughly. Like, the rougher you do it, the more artistic it'll look. And you'll, you'll actually surprise yourself if you do it really, really, really rough. So I'm just going to do a very simple bow, so there we go, um, out here like that. And then I'm going to finish off the plait by doing kind of like what's, like, you have like a flame. So think of that as a flame, but we're going to flip it upside down so we have something which looks a bit like this. We don't have the middle part in there. <laughs> but yeah, we have that there. And you can draw like, kind of like, you want to draw a line which goes down the middle, I guess. Um, sort of like this, but add in like this kind of pattern to it as well as you're going down. It can be rough now because we're just doing this really roughly at the moment. Cool. So now we want to draw kind of like, I don't know what they're called, they're like hanging off the ears or something. Um, but they're kind of, it's pretty, it's hair still, it's still hair. But we're going to add like a big fluffy fat one here, like that. And now we're going to draw the top of her head. Now, drawing the top of the head, you can do in any way you like. I'm going to draw it like the letter M. 
So just drawing like the letter M up over here like that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now I'm going to draw another plat, but it's only going to be on the side here and you're not really going to see it. Um, it's just going to be like just here. Okay. Again, this probably doesn't make much sense. I'm just sort of teaching you guys what I know with certain hairstyles. That's why I picked Marissa because she has plaits and long flourishly hair plus the fringe and these little things on the side of her head. So it kind of, she kind of, kind of covers most of what I need to teach you. And then we have the back of her hair, which is like this giant mess which sort of comes out this way. And you can draw it any way you like. Draw her neck, which is down here. You can draw the neck any way you like. Uh, preferably, they're just two lines. Uh, you can draw it as thick as you like. The thicker it goes, though, the more adult the character is. Because we're doing chibi, we want to do it fairly thin, like... Kind of like that. And then she has, like, a scarf down here. Which is pretty much a block. Again, as you can see, I'm smoothing off the edges and whatnot. So we have that there. Very rough and very very simple. I'm not going to gonna go too much into how to draw hair properly. Um, I'm just sort of lightly touching at it at the moment. But, you know, the best thing I can suggest is to just draw as many wacky and crazy hairstyles as you can. The more you do it, the more used to it you're going to be. Uh, and it's just going to be second nature. Like, you're not even... You're barely going to notice what you're doing. Like, I'm going to be honest, when I draw hair, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. It's just one of those things that just you just that just comes to you naturally. So we're actually going to go to the main point, which is the eyes or the face. So how to draw noses? You can draw noses in any way you like when it comes to chibi. You can draw it as a dot. You can draw it as a line. You can draw it as a line and a dot if you wanted to. How I draw my chibi lines uh, noses is that I do kind of like it's it's like a triangle, I guess. So think of the the shape, the, the triangle shape. But what I do is I actually cut out the bottom part like this. So I have kind of this shape. Now again, because I'm doing a chibi, we don't want to have these harsh edges. We want to have nice soft edges. So let's take, we'll get rid of that and we'll go with a nice soft edge, kind of like that. And we want to draw the nose just below this line, but in the center of this one. So our triangle is going to sit pretty much right in the center here. And that's how I draw my noses. Again, Draw your noses however you like. I can do a few little uh, examples. So you can do a dot for a nose. You can do a line with a dot as a nostril. You can do even like this shape. So have that shade of black and have like a dot there. Uh, you can even do like, you can even do this kind of shape if you wanted to. Uh, you can do this kind of shape, this kind of shape. It really doesn't matter. The noses, so long as they're pretty small, so to speak. So now we're going to do the eyes. Now the eyes for anime is ridiculously ranged in many many ways you can do anime eyes however you like um i'm going to do a few examples for you now so then you can sort of like go okay you know sort of see which one you like yes so what we're going to do is we're going to draw anime eyes which look a little bit like dragon ball z style i guess just for now but i'm going to after that we'll switch to my anime eyes and i'll walk you through that so get the letter j just like this capital j let's erase the top part here so once we have this shape here, let's get it and flip it upside down. So the open end will be facing towards the nose, the closed end will be facing towards the ear. So if we move it here, we have ourselves our first little eye. We want to do the same thing over here, same shape, just over there, just like that. Now what I want to do is we want to draw the eyeballs. Now you can do it one way or another, I'll show you one way. Get the letter J again, but don't draw the top part. And we want to, instead of just stopping here, or well, doing that for the letter J. Let's draw a line that goes all the way up here like that. Let's get the letter C, but this time let's connect it here and here so we have something which looks a bit like this. Let's get the letter J, or this time let's get the letter U, actually. So we're going to get the letter U. We're going to grab it and we're going to literally just stretch the ends so they extend right up over here. And then what you want to do is you want to just simply color that in. So then you have your first eye. So we can move that over here. We can shrink that down. So we're going to have a shape a little bit like that. And you can go ahead and draw your other eye in just the same way. And then you have yourself really basic anime eyes. Now, I'm going to sort of control Z because those are super basic. Uh, for those of you who are really like, oh, I don't know how to do it. I, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to show you how I draw anime eyes um, and whatnot. Think of the letter C. Kind of like that. That's pretty much how I draw my eyes, really. 
So we have the letter C here, but really large, and we've extended the end. So the letter C is actually like that. So I'm just going to draw it with no eyelashes for now. Now for the eyes itself, so the eyeballs are usually what defines it as an anime. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So what I'll normally do is I'll sort of draw kind of like a circle, but it cuts off. So I'm not drawing it all the way around like this. I'm cutting out this part here. So I'm just going bloop and bloop. And then what I would do is I'll go in and I draw like, um, sort of like drawing the moon and then coloring that in, except I'll do that here and on its side. So something like this. Now what I would then do is I'd go ahead and draw a little circle here, another circle here, and then another circle out over here. And that would be out my specular lighting. So when I'd color, color this in, yeah, this would all get colored, but anything inside these circles here, here, and here, nothing goes in there. It just stays purely like plain. So say if I was to suddenly like color the eyeball that, you know, this gray color, this is still white and whatnot. So yeah, so that's sort of how I would draw my eyes uh, for my characters. Let's get this shape and bring it over here. So like the letter C, the letter C goes in like that. So the open end of the eye usually is where like, this, this area, this part of the eye is usually facing towards the center of the face. So I'll do that. Now, with the specular lighting, the, 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 um, the specular lighting doesn't flip. So see how I have the large bubble on the um, right side of the eyeball? It doesn't flip and go on the left side. Remember, this is light. So light is coming down from up over here. So that means on this eye, it's going to come from the same angle. So we have the big blob there and a little like V-shaped thing here. And I'm gonna draw the moon. I should've done that first, but oh well. Eye eyebrows are very, very simple. Um, so you can do whatever you like. I'm just gonna simply draw them as a line, very thick line, I guess. And there we go. We have our very basic Marissa Carizame from uh, Toho. Now, obviously, this wouldn't be completed if I went in and um, did some speed drawing. So let's cue the music and let me go over this with the pen. For those of you on pen and paper, pick up your pen and go over your lines, your construction lines, I should say, with a pen. So here we go. Okay, so that is pretty much us for now. Now, I'm not going to go through how I did the shading or anything. I'll save that for another video since shading is a topic of its own. Uh, and we'll take... Yeah. So next week, you know, I'll actually probably draw Marissa in a full body thing a little bit like this. This is actually a fairly old drawing of mine, but, you know, it's actually kind of perfect since I do follow the same kind of rules that I uh, usually do when I draw chibis. So yeah, guys. Anyway, thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share this video around. Share the... Uh, Share the um, thingy, blah, 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 blahs around and whatnot. If there's any characters that you would like to learn how to draw or you'd like to see me take on and draw and whatnot, do let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys, and I shall see you guys next time. See you around.